Those first few months coming over from JMU and, and maybe what was comfortable with the staff for you yeah. and what you had to kind of relearn or mm -hmm. get used to. No, nah, I mean, it was, a, it was a pretty easy transition. Um, you know, I've been with Coach Nettie for, you know, five years now, going on six. So, you know, I'm very comfortable with him, very comfortable with Coach Coons. Obviously, we had a lot of guys come over. So, um, you know, for the most part, the, the transition was pretty easy. Um, you know, system for us is, is basically the same. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was nothing too difficult. I mean, just you know, learning the area far, far from home. But other than that, it was a pretty smooth transition. Mike on your right, and then Matt. Yeah, um, you played I think, the second most snaps uh, on the defensive interior in the college football last year. Uh, what do you kind of attribute to your ability to sort of play all those reps, and do you anticipate being able to do that now that you've gone up level and mm -hmm. it's a powerful competition? Yeah, I mean, it was you know. Strength and conditioning staff, you know, they, they got us right in the summer. Um, also, just, you know, t taking pride in that, you know, if my team needed me to do that, you know, I'm, you know that's what I got to do. So, um, you know, there's really no option for me. If I got to play every snap, I'll play every snap. Um, you know, coming up here, you know, if I, if I have to do the same, you know, I will, but I don't really expect that. You know, we're, our rooms, you know, we got, we got deep guys, um, you know, deep room. So, um, I don't really expect, you know, playing every snap. You know, it's, it's, you know, especially at this level, it's, you know, it's going to be pretty, pretty tough to maintain throughout the year. Um, yeah, we got a lot of guys in there, so I feel like you know we're gonna rotate pretty well. Were you dealing with the injury? You had to get cleaned up in the spring during the year, or did you fight through stuff? Kind of yeah, so I yeah it was a shoulder injury, so I, I played with it uh, through the season last year. We'll go Matt, second row on your right. Then we'll go to Jack. You mentioned it being deep room. Just um, talk about that. Like how excited are you guys to get out there? I mean, once the season gets started, and you know, like how high, how high do you think the ceiling is, and how have you guys been able to gel some new faces? In yeah, I mean, I think we're going to gel. We've been gelling very well, um, you know, getting to you know, know each other well, know each other better. Um, you know, Marcus, CJ, Tyreek, you know, Rob, all these guys, you know, we can, you know, play, you know, different positions. So I feel like, um, you know, especially with Coach Coons kind of, you know, helping us out, you know, getting us right in there, I feel like, you know, you know we're, we're, we're going to be a good room deep and, uh, you know, play a lot of bodies. Jack, first row on your left, and Todd, you know, just with your injury, what was kind of your recovery process like throughout the offseason and now that you're in ball camp, how have you been yeah, I mean, it was just surgery. We had our bowl game, uh, you know, December, I think it was 23rd or 22nd. I got surgery about a week or so later. Um, you know, I, I had my right one done, so this one, my left one, wasn't as, uh, wasn't as bad. Um, you know, just, you know, rehab stuff, you know, just, you know typical just shoulder, shoulder rehab, so it wasn't, wasn't too bad. And, uh, yeah, I mean, fall, fall camp, it's feeling good, feeling healthy 100%. Todd and Seth. James, uh Kind of reflect on your journey to get here. I, mean, I, know, I was reading up on it. You were at a camp back when Coach Sabetti was at Elon, and obviously you know you were walking at JMU. I mean, how much do you reflect on the fact that you're standing here playing the Big Ten? <laughs> and what's that journey been like for you? So, so yeah, I mean, if you if you told me, you know, I'd be standing here, um, you know, five six years ago, you know, I would told you you're crazy. It's a uh, it's been an awesome journey so far. Um, you know, something you know, I'll always remember, always take a lot of pride in, you know, being a walk on. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the job's not finished. You know, you guys got, you know, season left, you know, one more ride with me. So, um, I'm going to make the most of it, you know, just enjoy the time with these guys and these coaches. Coach, with Coach Signetti, the trust that you, can, you know, the, the two of you have had over the course of your career, how has that kind of, you know, flowered over, over time? Mm -hmm. what, what kind of creates that? Yeah, I mean, being able to play for Coach Signetti, it's, um, you know, it, it's an honor. I mean, he he gave me this opportunity. You know, he you know was basically the only real you know Division One coach who you know took a chance on me. So, you know, I'm forever grateful to him for that. And um, you know, especially you know playing for him the past five years. You know, the more experience you get, you know, the more he trusts you, and you know, the more he you know allows you to kind of go out there and play free. Um, you know, so I just over you know, these you know five six years, it's been you know it's been an honor and a blessing to play for him. Yeah, I mean, you talked a bit about it, but, you know, what's it like for you kind of being a veteran uh, just in Coach Haynes' defense and kind of knowing that system? And, I mean, obviously you all worked on it in spring, and, mm -hmm. and you weren't really on the field for that, but just, you know, being a veteran in, in, in that system and kind of have, and having everybody else still yeah. getting used to it. Yeah, I mean, we basically ran, you know, before even Coach Haynes became, you know, the coordinator at GMU, we, you know, basically ran the same, same system uh, for the most part. Obviously, Coach Haynes, you know, came in and you know tweaked it here and there, but um, you know, being able to help these guys, you know, that was kind of my job in the spring. I was, you know, I wasn't playing, but I was, you know, trying to help them the best I can with the little details that you know Coach Coons and Coach Haynes, you know, they they harp on. 
So, you know, off the field, I was trying to help them the best I can um, just because I wasn't playing. So, um, you know, I'm still trying to do that, you know, whatever, whatever questions they got, you know, hopefully I have an answer for them and, uh, you know, continue to just kind of build that relationship with, you know, these other guys and kind of, you know, show them show them the way and kind of show them, you know, what, what the defense is about. How active for the role were you able to take of doing that sort of thing in this right? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was hard because, you know, during practice, I'd kind of be off to the side, but whenever I could, you know, I'd be watching the team periods, you know, if they came off, I'd be asking, you know, if they have any questions or, or what, you know, what look they got, what block or, or anything like that. So, um, you know, I did the best I could with kind of the situation I was provided. Pete, second row on your left, and then Dylan. Do one of the objectives would be to win now? How, how optimistic are you guys that you can get that done? I mean, I, I believe in it 100%. Um, no, I wouldn't be here if I, didn't, if I didn't believe in it. You know, I have full belief in Coach Ignetti and, and the staff and these guys. Um, you know, I, you know, we're, we're going to go out there. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to give it our all. Um, you know, Coach Ignetti, Coach Coach Ignetti, you know, he doesn't expect anything less. So, um, you know, I fully, fully believe it, 100%. Dylan in the second row, and then back to Zach. A couple of days of practice down here. What is? Are there any similarities or differences between how Coach Signetti ran things at JMU versus how things are going now? I mean, you know, pretty, pretty much the same. Um, you know, not, nothing too different. Uh, practices are, are structured, you know, the same. Um, you know, there, there really hasn't been anything. You know, it's been kind of the same. You know, in terms of you know practice style and stuff like that. You know, from from JMU to here. Zach on your right, and then we'll finish up with Mike. Because when you've obviously worked with, I know, you know, at, at James Madison, those defensive lines were really disruptive. Mm -hmm. You know, just what, what's his approach? What kind of works in terms of the way he coaches, you know, those positions to be within that defense, yeah. you know, so disruptive, so productive. He uh, he's big on you know you know verticality, get get in the backfield, playing free. Um, he doesn't really put too many limitations on us, you know, which is good as defensive linemen. You know, I don't want to be in there thinking, you know. What happens if you know? What happens if this happens? You know, certain blocks. So he lets us play free. He lets us play kind of, kind of open, vertical. You know, up the field, which is you know a dream as a defensive lineman. We'll finish up with Mike on your right. Yeah, you know, I know you had a chance uh, to work with him in the summer and obviously at both practices now. But CJ West uh, playing next to somebody with that size. Uh, what does that help? How does that help you and open up your game? And what have you seen from him kind of over the last couple of months as he's joined the team? Yeah, I mean, he's a beast. He's, he's fitting well. I've gotten to know him pretty well. Um, great guy, you know, great player um, through his first couple of practices. So, um, you know, having that guy next to you, you know, makes, makes my job easy. You know, he draws a lot of attention. Um, you know, big guy in there, holds double teams well, all that type of stuff. So, you know, being, being, able, to play to, uh, being able to play next to a guy like that, you know, is something, you know, you want as a defensive lineman. And you talked about your journey, uh, kind of, you know, Kurt and Julie. Of course, Aubrey, you guys won. Now, a uh, chance to jump up a level. How much does that motivate you, I mean, I know you had a good game against Louisville in your career, yeah. you played some uh, powerful competition, but what does it mean to you to kind of be at this stage and have a chance to prove yourself? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a dream come true. I mean, as, as a little kid, you know, you grow up, you know, watching these types of games, you know, playing Ohio State, playing Michigan, playing Big Ten football, um, you know, so being able to get an opportunity like this, it's, you know, once in a lifetime, you know, I hope to make the most of it. Thanks, Shane. Appreciate Thank you. It.